Hello, my name is Bill Silber. I'm a professor of finance and economics at NYU's Stern School of Business, and I've just completed a biography of Paul Volcker entitled Volcker, The Triumph of Persistence, published by Bloomsbury Press. Paul Volcker is the most trusted man in world finance. He's most famous today for the so-called Volcker Rule that was passed by Congress in 2010 to avoid future taxpayer bailouts of commercial banks. But he earned the public's trust by standing firm against political pressure while defeating an inflation that reached almost 13% a year in 1979, an inflation that nearly destroyed the American financial system. This book covers three great crises Paul Volcker confronted during 50 years of public service and explains how he made a living saying no during each confrontation. In a sense, I've been preparing to write this book for my entire professional career. I've published eight books on economics and finance, and one of them was the best-selling money and banking text in the United States. But I've also put my money where my mouth is by actually trading securities for a living, so I understand both theory and practice. I've known Paul Volcker for more than 30 years, and I also know the two Federal Reserve chairmen that followed Volcker quite well. I served for 10 years with Ben Bernanke, the current chairman on a Federal Reserve Advisory Board, and in my first year of teaching a long time ago, I had a much older student in my class. His name was Alan Greenspan. He was 40 at the time, I was about seven. In researching this book, I had access to both the personal and professional sides of Paul Volcker. He dumped into my lap everything from a walk-in closet in his apartment, including his elementary school report cards that had been carefully preserved by his mother, Alma Volcker. He also authorized my reviewing his extensive Fed correspondence stored in the archives of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. And finally, he sat for over 100 hours of personal interviews with me, not always happily, I might add. This book is aimed at people interested in how great statesmen have influenced the course of history. It also deals with the three greatest economic battles of the past half century, the final rejection of the gold standard in 1971, the defeat of the great inflation of the 1970s, and the confrontation with the world economic crisis that began in 2007 and is still with us. This book delivers two great lessons. Paul Volcker showed that a determined central banker can preserve the value of the currency, almost like the fabled gold standard. But even Volcker could not do it alone. I argue that he succeeded by forcing Congress to balance the budget. The lesson for today is that current Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke will not be able to engineer an economic recovery without inflation unless Congress balances the full employment budget. I hope you enjoy the book.